So for those who don't know me, my name's Randy, and I'm the THCEO here for A Little Bud and Green Guy. And we decided to take a couple of the staff, managing partner and Bruce, and a friend of mine on a little trip. But the fun part is, I didn't tell them where we're going. Just said pack three days worth of clothes, and uh, make sure you bring a passport. And first thing we did was took him into Bellingham, Washington, which wasn't the most exciting start to the trip. But from there, we went on and uh, went on a little adventure. So we want you to come along, check it out, see if you like it. Great cheese. I've been showing them seats. What's going on, buddy? Hey, how are you? Oh, just, I'm ready to roll. Let's roll. I'm ready to roll. Are you guys a little excited? A little excited. Do you guys go out passports? Yes. Do you guys go out a bag pack? Yes. Do you guys have any idea where we're heading? No idea. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It should be anyways. Jumped in the truck, started heading for the U.S. border. Had that like uh-oh moment when I realized I don't think he can take fireworks over the border. I'm pretty sure there's fireworks in my truck. So a quick pit stop at a buddy's business, get rid of those, drop them off, and uh, down to the border we headed for the beginning of the trip. The plan was basically to get to Bellingham, have a nice restful night. We had a flight leaving the next morning. I knew about the flight at 7 a.m. So I encouraged all, all of us to have a nice quiet night. Um, then we figured out that there's casinos in uh, Washington state. So after a few trips to a few different casinos at about 2 a.m. we finally got to bed. Woke up at 5 a.m. the next morning, walked across to the Bellingham airport and uh, got on a very cheap Allegiant flight down to, Bell or down to Las Vegas from Bellingham. And the adventure kind of began from there. You guys know where we're going yet? No idea. How about you? We're going to Allegiant, something like that. So now we've officially landed in Las Vegas. The guys have figured out what's going on. Um, and we meet the uh, the people who are renting us the car, which is beautiful Mercedes AMG GT off of Turo. Um, and I'm really process oriented and I love Las Vegas. So I've got like these weird steps that I have to follow when I get there. So now you're in the rental, the rental car. And first thing I got to do is go to the dispensary, my favorite dispensary in Las Vegas. Uh, over on South Decatur Boulevard. It's like we're all the local shop and just definitely the best deals on the best cannabis. That's a fast Did joint. You guess, is that your first legal joint in Las Vegas? Fucking yes, actually. And, uh, I love that. Really? Sir? Thank you, sir. Um, and then from there, we head over to CVS, get all of our supplies, hit a smoke shop. You got to get a rolling tray, grinder, all the essentials for the trip. Um, and then we went over and did an early check-in at the Cosmo. So wonderful. Cosmo's like my absolute favorite place to stay in Las Vegas. If you don't know this already, um, most of the hotels in Las Vegas don't have balconies. And so if you're a cannabis consumer, most of the hotels are not going to be very friendly for you. But the Cosmo having a private balcony, so you can go out there, sit, have a puff. Sometimes you're lucky enough to even get it on the uh, fountain side. So you're looking at the Bellagio Fountain, smoking a joint. It's kind of a kind of a special place to be. We all checked in, got the rooms going, um, and from there we headed out to Maverick Helicopters. Man, it's bright out, but we're at uh, Maverick Helicopters. Going to go for a little bit of a neon and nature tour. Let's see how it goes. Uh, get some edibles in our system because we're headed off to Sirta Saleh Ka, which I've seen that show last year completely sober and it was really intense. Um, you know, you put a couple of milligrams of edibles, you know, 100, 200, 300, 1,000 milligrams of edibles in your system. Um, and that was one hell of a show. Um, so that was really, really cool. We checked that out. And then what else can you do at that point in your night but head down to maybe do some zip lining. So off to Fremont Street we went um, and we got buckled in and we did an epic ride down there. It was super cool. You get to fly Superman style. Um, and that was pretty epic. Um, I got a temporary job with the zipline company, got my radio right away, started assisting, put in a short shift with them. Great team to work with, by the way. That was a blast. Yeah, that's affirmative. Go ahead and send the riders down. Good to go. <laughs> the office. It's, it's great you can do your job remotely. Amazing that I can do my job remotely. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and send uh, another group of riders down there, Claire. We 
We've had a couple of uh, requests now for Desperado by Rihanna. Anything else going on the uh, lines there, guys? Did I Kendall? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> play Desperado on your phone, I swear to God. I'm Desperado. <laughs> <laughs> just, just put it on your phone right now. Just put it on your phone right now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. And if you like what you saw, give this video a like and subscribe now. See you next time.